Hi, my name's Daisy and today I'm talking all about me writing a novel. I know, I know, such a surprise. Although not really that much a surprise if you've been watching me since last November when I did NaNoWriMo and completed it for the second time. At the time, I thought my storyline was really strong. It wasn't. The stress of having to write 1,666 words daily is very menacing often and it makes you write a lot of extra words that don't make sense and you end up writing crazy stuff. This is going to be an example of how much crazy stuff you write in NaNoWriMo. I complained to a friend that I was really annoyed at one of my main characters and I wish I could just throw her down a well. What do you think I did? Yep, I threw her down a well and made her break her leg because I was that annoyed at her that she just needed to suffer a little bit and it got me some extra words in so that was always a benefit. And the problem with me at NaNoWriMo is that I often decide too late into the game that I want to start, like two days before I want to start and I haven't really picked out a proper idea and every single time I've done NaNoWriMo, nine days in, I often end up changing my novel which is not a very good idea. I always end up completing it but it's not good, it's not a good idea, and I've never write it out physically for me to go back into. I just have an idea in my head, I just start writing, and I think it's fine, I come up with random characters, and it's not really plotted out properly, which means I never really want to go back to it, because I never really know what it's actually meant to make sense of. I don't know where things are meant to go, I don't know what structure I was on, because I never actually wrote it down, because this person can be a bit of an idiot sometimes when it comes to writing. I love to write, however, I just don't always plan it properly. And for someone who struggles cognitively sometimes because of brain fog and just because I am very fatigued, it's not a very good idea to not have stuff written down. Now let's talk about the fact that I actually want to write a novel. This isn't me just going, hey, I'm going to write a novel. I don't know what about, but I'm going to write a novel. It's kind of a little bit like that. However, I had such a surreal dream the other day that was so icky, so gross, and so just vivid, I could smell the disgustingness, and I was there, and it was in colour, and I was running, and smashing things, and very, very frightened. I woke up thinking, that is awesome, and I remembered it in my brain, and ever since then, I've had this idea, and it's a very minimal thing to the entire scheme of what I've come up with that's blossomed inside my brain, because the dream is like having a tiny, tiny, icky little bit of, like, here. It's, it's very small in the whole grand scheme of everything, but it inspired me to start to think I need to plan this. So what did I decide to do differently this time? I got a notebook and today I spent half an hour or so bouncing ideas off with my mum about ideas that I had for this novel. I ended up writing six pages because there was simply that much that was going on in my head that I was inspired. That's just general plot ideas. That's not even beginning to come up with the characters and the speech bubble character thing where you go off and then show their backstory or the things that they would do if they were dealt in this situation and everything else because I've never done that. So. I decided this time round, Daisy, get a notebook. Write your ideas in the notebook so you remember them. But then before you even start writing, for God's sake, woman, write down your characters. <laughs> it doesn't matter if they don't make it in there, but you have the characters. It needs to have a solid plot line, otherwise you're going to struggle immensely. And if I have it in a physical form, I'm more likely to start getting inspired by my previous writings and to think, what do I want in the chapter? What do I want in the beginning of the novel, the middle of the novel, and the end of the novel? I'm really, really excited to start this project once I have finished all the things I want to put in the notebook, because I have never done it this way before, and if I've done it that way and it fails, then that's fine, but I think this is going to be the successful way instead of just deciding, I have an idea, I'm just going to be really cocky and write it out and think it's going to be amazing and it's not because you need plots and you need planning because nobody builds a house without a plan because where would you know the bathroom is going? Because you can't just choose last minute where the bathroom is going to sit, it has to be in a specific place and that's just me being weird and architectural there. Um, so the idea that it was simple from a dream has made my brain just explode into so many different ideas. So my mission is to myself is to create a novel and it doesn't matter if I never have anyone else read it, whether it's friends, parents, whatever, it doesn't matter because without having the actual story 
nobody else can possibly read it if I feel like I have successfully written something that I'm proud of. Anyone who's currently writing anything or planning on writing anything, please let me know down below. Maybe we could come writing buddies, who knows? And thank you for watching this video, thank you for subscribing, and happy reading and writing as well this time. So, <laughs> bye!